Hi, it's Eliana, and today I am going to be talking about epigenetics, vitamin D3, liquid form, and also iron with red blood cells. So I've been studying epigenetics for the last 10 years, I would say, and how epigenetics works on the body, how it works on the cells of the body for nutrients, for supplements, for physical health, for energy. So in what I found interesting about my own epigenetics, when I did, when I put my raw DNA through the magic genie in examining my epigenetics, I did find that there is a a genetic mutation for a vitamin D3 deficiency is just a natural mutation. I've had it, I was born with it as a kid. So I've, I've, and I felt like I was low in vitamin D3, like naturally low, even before I did the epigenetic studying, the studies of it. And I always knew the vitamin D3 needed to be worked on. So for the last 25 years, I've been taking something called New Roots. It's called Vitamin D3 Liquid Form, 30 ml New Roots, and it's liquid vitamin D3. That's why I like it so much, because it has the uh, oil emulation absorption. So it is quickly absorbed by the body. And I take this with organic yogurt. And here's the bottle. The bottle looks like. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's a vitamin D3 liquid, new roots. And I like their website. They actually have a website. And on the website, you can find it where you can order it online or in store, and for me, it's been a life changer. New Roots, and this is naturopathic. So it helps with, let's see what it helps with. It helps with strengthening the bones. It helps with strengthening, yeah, developing maintenance of bones in teeth and in the absorption of use of calcium and phosphorus. Calcium intake when combined with sufficient vitamin D, healthy diet and regular exercise may reduce the risk of developing osteoporosis, helps with immune functionality. And this is a complete naturopathic remedy. So there's nothing here that is not organic. It, is liquid vitamin D3 builds stronger bones and teeth plus immunity with the oil emulsification process. And I find the liquid one is far better than pills or the tablet form because when you're getting liquid through the oil emulsification, it actually goes to the tissues of your body where it's supposed to go. Also, like I had extreme pernicious anemia when I was much younger. So for me, I needed iron because my red blood cells were below normal level, like too low. So what I was taking was called Floravit, vegetarian formula, gluten-free, and that's liquid form of iron supplement and here it is it's called it's from Salus. it's called floravit is the gluten-free one and floradix that one has gluten in it but they're both vegetable formula for vegetarians it's all vegetable based and it has this is great i if i ever need a boost in iron. I take this liquid form, but I buy it at, as Floravit. 
they have the two formulas, one that is Floravit, gluten-free and vegetarian formula, and Floridix. This is not gluten-free, but it's still vegetarian formula. Some, sometimes it's hard to find this in the stores, in the organic stores or just vitamin stores. But this is really good if you need a quick boost for, for iron supplement to boost your iron. This is good to take for that. It will, within a week, it will raise your iron. And again, I've never taken iron pills because liquid form is much better. It's faster absorption into your body. And Floravit and Floridix. Let's see what the medicinal ingredients are. And elemental iron, 10 mg. Vitamin B1, 2.5 mg. Vitamin B2, 4.0 mg. Vitamin B6, 2.0 mg. Vitamin B12, 7.5 mcg. So this is really good stuff here because it has your vitamins as well, not just your iron. And it also has for other ingredients, aquas extracts of carrot, stinging nettle, spinach, couch grass, bitter fennel, kelp, hibiscus, juice concentrates of pear, black grape, black currant, orange, blackberry, cherry, and red beetroot. Red beetroot. This really stimulates iron production from what I know. It's in a base of honey, extracts of rosehip. Uh, this one, wheat German yeast. This is not gluten-free. The Floradix is not gluten-free. The Floravit is gluten-free, so it wouldn't have that wheat German yeast. Natural orange flavor, purified water, and sorbic acid, antioxidant. So just be aware, this one, the um, Floradix formula, this is, it does have yeast in this one. Yeah, so this one does have the yeast and the wheat germ because it's Floradix. Floravit won't. That's absolutely gluten-free. And again, sometimes they'll have both in the store. Sometimes they'll have one of whatever is available because people do buy it very quickly. Because again, this is also organic. This is naturopathic. It is very good. It's herbal. So, and it's one of the better uh, iron, liquid iron supplements that I've ever taken that has not made me sick, has not physically made me sick. Because not all iron supplements are the same or equivalent. Um, Floravit and Floradix were the best. And I would mix it just with a little bit of water, drink it, and I would do it before eating any food, two hours before food. And then you have to wait two hours um, after you take it so it absorbs properly into your body, then you can eat afterwards. So those are the two main things that have been life changers in my, basically, um, health, nutrition, the new roots, vitamin D3, liquid, vitamin D3, and it absorbs very well into the body. I always feel a lot more energy when I take it, and I take it every day. I wake up around 9, 10 a.m., and I, again, I take it with my organic yogurt. I do about 10 drops of it, and I really notice the energy, how well it boosts my energy levels. The Floridix, Floravit, I no longer do. I haven't done that in 10 years because my iron levels are now normal. So I don't have pernicious anemia. I've dealt with that and I fixed this. But for those that do have low iron, I really suggest Floravit or Floridix. If you're not allergic to gluten, you can do 
Floridix if you are allergic to gluten, Floravit, or just prefer to be gluten-free, Floravit would be better for you. Um, and the vitamin D3 is GMO-free. There's no GMO in it at all, and it's certified as GMO-free. None of these projects, products, none of these products have been sponsored. I'm reviewing them purely from my own experience trying them out and knowing that they work for me health-wise. So I wanted to talk about this stuff and it helps to strengthen epigenetics. Vitamin D3 deficiency and iron deficiency that can be healed and fixed. When you're taking the proper supplements and nutrients, you will get enough absorption in the body through the liquid forms to not have these deficiencies in your body because the tissues and cells in your body are absorbing the liquid forms of the vitamin D3 and the iron through these liquid supplements. I know this for a fact because I've used these products. I am reviewing it purely from the fact that it worked for me. I'm not selling anything. Uh, nothing is sponsored here. These are just supplements that have worked for me and that you can get at any health nutrition store or get online. So I just wanted to also discuss that you can affect your epigenetics and heal certain types of deficiencies or even epigenetic mutations. If it's in the epigenetics, that can be healed. If it's um, more complex, DNA mutations that need genetic editing, that there is some genetic editing already happening for blindness and other things, even deafness now. With CRISPR-Cas9, more things are coming along and biological drug serums for curing cancers. I've seen videos out there. Things are progressing with that in that area. So we're going to get more opp opportunities for different types of genetic editing and genetic healing. But again, anything that's on the surface level with epigenetics that can easily be healed, like vitamin D3 deficiency and iron, low levels of iron and even pernicious anemia. You can do liquid supplementation to heal that quickly for yourself. So you don't feel tired, so you don't feel low energy, so you don't feel like you need to sleep all the time. Because some people feel like that and they ask themselves why? What's happening in my body? Why am I tired? Why am I low energy? Why am I moody? Why am I grumpy? Why is my hair falling out? You likely have probably vitamin D3 deficiency low iron, maybe something going on with your thyroid that needs balancing because all that can also cause hair loss. They're thinning, they're thinning, the thinning of the hair. Sometimes it could happen from vitamin D3 deficiency, vitamin K deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiencies, feeling tired, low energy, body aches and pains, joint pain, Low iron can cause that too. Uh, those are all symptoms of low iron. So, and that can easily be tested. Vitamin D3 can be tested through a blood test. Same with low iron and other things like that. And thyroid, uh, TSH, that can easily be tested. Epigenetics can easily be tested through your raw DNA sample. You can put it yourself through the magic genie and it'll give you a readout if you have any mutations in epigenetics or other deficiencies somewhere in the epigenetics. So I just wanted to talk to you about that a little bit. So thank you so much and namaste.